Why we have moved from a phosphate company, because that's what we've been known for for the you know, better part of 65 years. Well, in the last 10 years, we've kind of transitioned to a potassium or, or a potash company. Now, unfortunately, when, when you talk to a grower about potash, they immediately go to dry potash, dry KCL. And that's, even though that's, that needs to be part of a overall fertility program, that is, there's way more choices to get potassium on the acre than just dry potash. If you look at potassium, so it, I'm gonna call it, it's, it, it's the engine that drives the plant. Nitrogen, that's, that's kind of the fuel uh, makes it run, but in order to make that motor hum, you've got to have potassium. So, which is why we've hooked our train to potassium acetate. You can take soil tests all over the country. Prime example is Nebraska. You go from, you go in eastern Nebraska and you can take soil tests. You can find potash readings that are, you know, four or five uh, in some cases even 600 ppm. Go to the western Nebraska and they're as low as 100. But I can take the same potassium program west to east and I can still drive yield by adding more potassium to the acre. So it's making that plant run more efficiently. That's the starting point that Kelly's going to do, that this whole team is going to do. It's about finding the right buttons to push and potassium is one of them.